Good morning everyone, this is the, I have to go a bit further away, the Volkswagen ID Bus long wheelbase rear wheel drive version. We have an 86 kilowatt hour battery, 210 kilowatt rear wheel drive motor. And today we're going to do a range test with this car uh, with 130 kilometers an hour, what a lot of countries in Europe drive on their highways. Um, I charged the car at home to 100%, preheated at home while it was plugged in, uh, navigated here, preheated the battery, uh, did a bit of yo-yoing, so full power regen, full power regen, so the battery was almost warm, I would say 75% or so. And now I arrived here with 81% plugged in, was mad that the charge didn't work. I was mad at the car and at the charger, but of course I had battery care mode on. I had to put the, stay, uh, the, the uh, charge limit to 100% then it worked. Idiot. Uh, car has a heat pump, um, had tw has 20 inch winter tires on, 235 in the front, 255 in the rear. So we charge back to the 100% which will take a bit. I'm getting at 88% 61 kilowatt and then we go. I am on my way and we're driving 133. You can see that on this beautiful cockpit or a head-up display, which is here, which doesn't have augmented reality and I'm happy about it. I reset my trip. I am in comfort mode. I have the heat on 23 degrees, no AC, but just my seat. Uh, the rest of the car will not be heated and I have the seat heater on full because it's nice. But I think I can already turn it back. Um, we're driving 133 because that's GPS speed 130. And so far, I mean the first 10 kilometers uphill and the consumption is gigantic. But that's normal. Oh yeah, we're going. I'm at 75% and we drove 54 kilometers. That is then 216 kilometers full range. Consumption 36.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer. That was expected. Good average speed. So far the drive is amazing. Didn't have to slow down once. There was a... a uh, construction zone where to slow down and afterwards was an exit right after the construction zone but other than that I drove my 133 uh, so it's going really well How is it driving the Volkswagen ID bus long wheelbase on a highway at 130 and it's totally nice. Suspension is good. It's not extreme comfort, but fine. Uh, it's very stable. The steering assist is awesome. Cruise control is awesome, especially today when there's nothing going on. Um, loudness level is okay. It's not incredible. It's not mega quiet, but it's fine. So you can drive this for a while. The problem is just the consumption. Even with this big battery, I don't think we get too much than more than 200 kilometers. So I don't know, 210, 215 at the end. Um, and that of course is then for a long distance trip a bit problematic. <laughs> but other than that, it drives great. Yo, we did it. I'm at 50%, drove 112 kilometers, so 224 kilometers full range. 
my uh, average consumption went down a bit this is good great average speed um, all wonderful it's the first time I have to slow down a bit and not even far but cool cool it's a great drive but it won't be too far I already navigated back to the charger um, it won't have to preheat the battery because I look the battery is still at optimal temperature so the high consumption keeps the battery warm it thinks I arrive with 14% I'm at 25% state of charge, drove 169 kilometers, 31 kilometers to go. Uh, it thinks I arrive with 11% now, not 14. We'll see. Do you want to charge for free? Of course you do. And how can you do that? With NCharge. NCharge is an app on your smartphone and when you are the charger like this, you rate the charger, you give NCharge the information, is something not working? Is it dirty? Is there no space? Can you eat around there? Is there a toilet? Can you park or charge with a, with a camper? And stuff like this. And NCharge is so happy about this information that it gives you kilometers and stars. In these, you can exchange for charging credit. A new feature in Germany and France, you can use the charging credit within the app and already start charging. You don't need an extra charging provider for this. Use the link in the description below to get 20 kilometers to start with. Arrived with 12%, it has 2 degrees out there. Uh, and this is my driving data, 35.3 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers was my average consumption. I'm doing a charging test, getting 195 kilowatt at 10%. It should go up to 205 usually. And weird, in the car, maximum power that I could get right now, it says 130 kilowatt. But I've seen that uh, many times where it says a totally wrong number. And then the time to the 80% that I'm charging now is therefore also wrong that it thinks. It's just wrong. I don't know why. In the GTX that we tested against it, it was correct. Uh. I calculated the range and I get to 228 kilometers under these conditions, around one to two degrees, wet, but not extremely wet, tiny bit of drizzle, no rain, um, heat pump, and uh, driving 130. That's how it get with an 86 kilowatt hour battery. <laughs> if you want to compare this result to other cars, there's a link to a Google spreadsheet in the description where all my range tests and long distance tests are in. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1. And if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.